So the Earth is constantly changing. Uh, it has an extremely hot core. The heat in the interior of the Earth leads to convection that shifts and moves the rocky plates making up the Earth's lithosphere. The interaction of these plates produces enough force to create ocean basins, to build mountains, create earthquakes and volcanoes. The theory of moving land masses or plate tectonics was first coined by German meteorologist Alfred Wegener, 1880 to 1930. When crustal plates move, three things can occur. Convergence, that means coming together. Divergence, that means moving apart. Or transform, that's when plates slide past one another. When two convergent plates come into contact or collide, compression occurs. The Earth's crust becomes compressed between the two moving plates, and crust begins to crack and buckle. This is known as a fault. Since both of the plates involved in a collision are very dense, they usually collide and crumple or fold to form mountains. Because the buckling of the crust is thrust upward, the crack that forms along the broken area of the crust is known as a reverse fault. If an oceanic plate converges upon a less dense continental plate, the denser ocean plate sinks and forms a zone of subduction. This is a common location for volcano formation. Earthquakes are also very common at convergent boundaries. Place a one, one fourth to one half layer of yellow sand in, in the bottom of the tectonic container. Pat the, the layer flat with the, tem, with the tamper. So a quarter inch, is that what it said? Good. Oops. And tap it down. All right. Now what? Place a one fourth to one half green layer of sand on top of the yellow layer of soft sand. Pat the sand flat with the temper once again. First thing? No. No. Are we filming now? Yeah. Now what? Oh, I forgot to tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, next. Repeat step seven and eight. What was step seven? Was it yellow? Yeah. Yellow, okay. Wait, did you say two times? How many more times? Two more times. Tectonic sounds funny. Tap, 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 tap. Mm. One more time. So one more yellow and one more green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably not adding enough, but I'm trying to conserve it. And whoever blurts out, your job is going to be to separate the green from the yellow when we're done. Might take several years. Tap, 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 tap. I probably should have added more. Eighth grade will come in and think this is sugar. I'll try to taste it.
So what's this sand representing? Anybody know? The layer of soil's layers. Yeah, layers of earth's sediment. If this was if this was like this ocean floor, little dead sea creatures when they die, they would just fall like the sand is. They'd build up layer upon layer. Called sediment, right? Okay, what's our next tap. Oh tap it. Okay. What's our next step? <coughs> Have students draw the layers of sand. Oh, there should, oh, be a total so cool. of, there should be a total of six layers. One, two, three, three four, five. Yep. Three Getting the layers? Three, three green. In, in the tectonic plate. Okay, so right now students are going to draw those layers so you can stop the video. Have slowly push the handle of the large plastic plate to start the compression of the sand layers. How far should I go? Oh, so cool. Whoa! How far do I go? It's hard moving the earth. How far do I go? I can stop right there. Right there. Okay, awesome. Now what do we do? Once the plate has been pushed approximately one and a half across, have the students draw the result configure of the sand in the tectonic sport sheet. Okay, so stop the video. Using a teaspoon, create a cut through the sand, as shown in figure 8. This cut represents erosion? erosion from a river or stream. So if we have a river running through the mountain, this spoon is going to kind of represent that. Maybe I'll just dump it over here. See if I can do it. How far do I go? Does it say? No. Okay, what's the next step? Have students draw the result. All right. Let's do a, oh that's cool, Yeah. get a side view, yeah. side picture, so you'll be able to see as we cut through the layers. Looks like two houses. Okay. Let's take a picture, not a video, a picture, you're videoing it, right? Part three. Obtain two L-shaped plates. Got them. The assemble pa tamper. Tamper, tapper, yep, got it. Two long push handles. Got them. The empty tectonics container. Right here. And a bag of green and and a bag of green and a bag of yellow sand. Okay, keep going. Assemble the L-shaped plates using the long rod using the long push rods. Mm -hmm. And as described in step five of part one. Mm -hmm. Keep going. We, yep, keep going. Place both of the L-shaped plates in the tectonic <coughs> container. See figure ten. Okay, keep going. Push the L-shaped plates together so that they touch. Mm, they're pushed. Okay. Place a one and a half to one to one fourth layer of yellow sand in the bottom of the tectonic plate container. Half right. the layer flat with tampons. I think we got the sand all layered up. We, we saved it from the last one. So let's skip down to when we're going to start pulling them apart. Slowly start to pull the two L-shaped plates away from each other. Okay. Stop moving the plates every inch or so. Alright, so Austin is going to film both the top and the sides. Alright, so slowly pull them apart. Let's see what it creates on top. Film it. Oh, look at that. Film. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Uh -oh. To oh, so cool. So cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. So cool. You getting a side view too? Oh wow. Look at that. That's 
probably all as far as I can go. Alright, great. Go ahead and stop that, get a couple 